Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this should be the topic of uh, inventory management. Uh, I will try in this topic is just to cover um, basically the topic of inventory management according to the module outline. As you can see here, so it will, we commencing 23rd, uh, we're covering inventory management. <clears throat> uh, so uh, basically uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover what does it mean a traditional inventory management model, and then I will move to just-in-time model. Uh, this topic, there are some very, very tiny, very simple um, uh, uh, calculation examples. Uh, I will attach them in the PowerPoint. You can just go and have a wee look at them yourself. It doesn't really need for myself just to explain them because it's just for clarification. I will not bring them in the final exam. So uh, uh, all the equations related to just-in-time or inventory management is just for, for you to know. So uh, the topic today, I will explain what does it mean uh, inventory management, what does it mean traditional inventory management model, and then uh, what just-in-time means. Uh, and then in the tutorial next week, hopefully we are going just to compare and the contrast between tra traditional inventory model or tra the traditional uh, inventory management model and just-in-time. So basically, uh, 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 according to the inventory management model, companies have to uh, to keep the inventory cost according or classify inventory cost into three categories: uh, ordering cost, setup cost, and the carrying cost. Ordering cost; these are the cost of placing and receiving an order. Setup cost are the cost of preparing equipment and the facilities so they can be used to produce particular product or equipment. Carrying costs are cost for uh, carrying inventory. So uh, 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 this is always I bring this into uh, a question in the um, when when we use it to deliver face to face, uh, and then um, uh, definitely 20 years ago companies used to hold some inventories for some reasons. So I always give the students some time to 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 reflect on that and then discuss this together. So companies hold some inventories for a number of reasons. So they might hold inventories to balance ordering cost and setup cost and the carrying cost. To might be the, the, the hold some inventory to satisfy customer needs or customer demand. To avoid any shutdowns in manufacturing facilities because of machine failure, defective parts, uh, unavailable parts or late delivery. Uh, to buffer against any unreliable production processes, to take advantage of discount. So, so of course, sometimes even for us as individual, not for companies, you might just go for shopping, and you might find offer two for two for three, or uh, sorry, three for two, or buy one get one free, or buy one get one the uh, half price, or whatever. So we we always just kind of uh, pile up, stock up some some items. So it's just to take advantage of discounts to hedge against the future prices. So you know, for example, uh, you, you might um, aware that a price of an item will be increased in you know January. So you buy you 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 stock you. You, you just buy some stock up for, for this particular item. So, so there are a variety of reasons why companies prefer to hold some inventory. To be very honest, these are the reasons. And uh, 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 remember that uh, we are going to cover next week in the tutorial uh, uh, these items why companies prefer to hold inventory. And you are going to compare this with just in time or how just in time try to, to achieve all these objectives. Uh, I, I would leave you. I will. I will just go over the the equations very quickly, and I will leave you the questions and the answers on the PowerPoint um, slides as usual. Uh, that I will upload a model with them straight away after I finish with this recording. So, economic order quantity is um, is a model that calculates the best quantity to order, and the, it's even the abbreviation E O Q, economic order quantity. And then it's uh, what has two basic equations that how much uh, uh, should order be produced and how should order be set up or set up or done. And uh, again, there are some um, information or some examples about this. Of course, I will, uh, I will attach the questions and the example very tiny in the PowerPoint. And then to, to calculate that you have some items and some information 
and you, you all you have to do is just implementing this equation into according to the figures uh, and that's it to know how to calculate the economic order quantity uh, so uh, so with, uh, after that there is there is something also economic order quantity it's the square root of 2b d divided by c and and of course this is again the all the equation or all the abbreviation in the in the you will find it in the powerpoint and then we'll move to um, uh, to the economic uh, uh, safety stock. And again, safety stock is another equation or another type of equation in this particular uh, 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 topic of inventory management. It's extra inventory carried on insurance against the fluctuation uh, demand. And, and, and also, uh, it, it is uh, uh, this will let us move to uh, just in time and how to do just in time and basically just in time is just try to avoid any holding inventory so companies like it's very very uh, popular in fast food like mcdonald's like uh, kfc like uh, burger king and there is uh, i will upload um, a model with a video on uh, on McDonald and just some time in McDonald and it's very, very informing, very interesting video. I would really uh, encourage all of you to watch it. It's, it's, it's very good just to show you what does it mean just some time. So basically it's once you go, for example, for McDonald or Burger King or uh, KFC, once you place the order, they just started to, to, to do everything. And instead of 20 years ago, it's, it's a process and you have to do this and and the carrying cost and the ordering cost and, and and all of this so just in time try to eliminate all of this to become zero there is no carrying cost there is no ordering cost everything is just to, to have been done at once once you you place the order everything is, is starting to be produced and then this this is going to happen um uh, so just in time it's uh, basically i'm always prefer just to give the students uh, this explanation of just in time and the difference between the blend layout under just in time and under traditional traditional means just in case or researcher call it just in case just in case means if they are holding inventory just in case so and so happen just in case something happen in the production just in case the machines uh, there is a, um, a power cut just in case the price changes just in case so and so just in case this just in case that but this is what we mean by uh, just in case or, or research are called the traditional model of inventory just in case however just in time is just in time so the, this is the best example to show you the differences between the two systems so according to the the, the layout of uh, any manufacturing under a traditional for example uh, 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 the company or the product here, any product will go for department one to go for some specific activities and then finish and then go for department two and then finish and go for department three and finish and so on. However, under the just in time, the manufacturing cell, they have a huge big cell or a huge big, a huge big space that this, the raw material arrive to this space and will never ever leave it until it becomes finished goods. So by doing that, there is no carrying cost and ordering cost and, and, and they, will, they will save time, they will save cost, they will save everything. So this is the difference between just in time and just in case, or just in case or the traditional and just in time. And of course, again, under, um, under this, I explained it to you in the PowerPoint, I have created this PowerPoint myself. I've, I've created a table comparison between just in time and just in case and i've put all the information all the factors that i i think this is might be uh, important so i will i will stop here because again all i want you to know for just in time and just in just uh, the traditional model of inventory to know the difference between both of them to know that this this if you know that the kind of this bluntly out what is the what does it mean each one of them i think this will be more than enough Next week in the tutorial, I will cover the difference between or all why companies prefer to hold inventories, and then I will implement this on just in time because this is all I want you to learn. And please watch watch McDonald uh, just in time uh, video before you join the the, the tutorials next week. And um, I, I I think that's me for uh, uh, for today. Um, I I hope uh, I I will come I will I will finish uh, later on.